K-nearest neighbors. One of the simplest algorithms used for classification and regression tasks. It includes a whole bunch of classes, but today, we'll go with the K-neighbor classifier. Have you ever voted for someone? That's pretty much how classification is done using the K-neighbor classifier. By voting. It decides a class for new data points based on the majority vote of its nearest neighbors. And when we say nearest, we're talking mathematically closest. So how does this work in practice? Let's visualize it. Here's some data represented by red and blue dots. Suddenly, a black dot appears. It's a new, unseen data point. Our task is to classify this point. Does it belong to the red class or the blue class? The process starts by calculating the distance between the black dot and every point in our data set. Once we have all the distances, we sort them in increasing order. Next, we select the K closest points, our nearest neighbors. By default, the value of K is 5. These five neighbors then vote to decide the class of the black dot. The class with the majority votes wins. In this case, the majority of the neighbors are red, so the black dot is classified as red. Simple, right? But how do we calculate those distances? The K-neighbor classifier uses a metric called the Minkowski distance, which is a flexible and generalized way to calculate distances. The formula looks like this. Here, the parameter P controls the type of distance. Let me show you what that means. When P is set to 1, the Minkowski distance becomes the Manhattan distance. It measures the distance along the grid lines. When P is set to 2, the Minkowski distance becomes the Euclidean distance. This is the straight line distance, like using a ruler. Let's return to our data. We can see that these points are placed on a two-dimensional plane, with X and Y axis representing features. So we marked their positions on the plane. Now we have some numbers on the screen. We can now easily calculate the distance between the given point and every point. Let's calculate the distance using the Manhattan metric. For this, we set the hyperparameter P equal to 1. In this, we calculate the sum of the absolute differences between the coordinates. Once we do this for all points, we sort the distances in increasing order and pick the five closest neighbors. The point is then classified on the majority vote. Next up, the Euclidean metric. This is the default behavior of the K-neighbor classifier. For this, we square the differences between the coordinates, sum them up, and take the square root. Once we do this for all points, we sort the distances, pick the closest five, and classify the point based on the majority vote. In the case of larger P, the Minkowski distance metric comes into play. In this, we calculate the absolute differences between the coordinates. Then we raise these differences to the power of P, sum them up, and then take the one over P root of the result. After calculating distances for all points, we sort them, take the vote from the K nearest neighbors, and classify the point based on the majority. That's it. That was all about the working of the K-neighbor classifier and the maths involved in it. 